farmer, friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer, friend, and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Taste Buds. Back there it is. Way the hell back there. That's pretty clean under there, all things considered. <sighs> Are we ready? Oh, is it time? It's time. I, yeah. Are you good? Hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was... I lost it. Some weird shit that happens at the store. I lost a thing. I was trying to <laughs> fix it later. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. I'm Chris. That's Lyle. We're those taste bud guys. Appreciate you joining us. Um, if you have a glass of rum, pick it up and uh, drink along beside us. If you don't, you're just kind of wondering what this tastes like. Hang out with us for a minute. See what we think about it. Well, not what we think about it. It doesn't matter what we think about it. We'll try to give you the best tasting notes we possibly can in our most Ozark of ways. And uh, I'll pour a smaller glass than he did. And then, um, you know, maybe you'll make a decision on whether you like it or not based on that. In the meantime, if you do enjoy this, there's a QR code up there in the corner. You can give us a little tip if you like. Uh, or if you don't like, you can give us a little tip in the comments and tell us how stupid we are. It's fine. We'll take either. Okay, so we're working with uh, Cruzan. Is that how you say that? That's what I've always said is Cruzan. Um, we've done some some nice rums on the show. We've done some oh, I don't crappy like crappy rums on the show in the past. Um, this one was sitting on the shelf. We haven't done it. This is the Cruzan Estate Diamond Black Strap Rum. You ever had it? I've never had it. Actually, I'm not sure that I've ever had Cruzan other than in like a rum and yeah, coke. Yeah, I was going to say in drinks, mixed drinks. I don't think I've ever yeah. drank it straight. Uh, we probably should look at the cost on this. I don't expect it to be very high, but I bet it's like more than 20 bucks. I will look it up. If it's not 20 bucks, they've put a lot of money in this bottle, which that is a really, really... It's a nice little bottle. Kick butt bottle. It's all embossed and yeah, great labeling. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think it's pretty cool looking. I noticed you made a bit of a nose and a face whenever yeah, you sniffed it. Yeah, not it's my, not my favorite. Uh, this is running $17.50 oh. at... Uh, Total Wine right now. That's kind of disappointing, and I'm going to tell you why. I wish we knew someone from Total Wine since I, we use them so much for a reference, but yeah. we'll see. So I'm going to tell you why it's disappointing. Why? Apparently all their money was spent on this packaging and bottle because yeah. it's a great bottle and a great cap and a really fantastic label. Yeah. And if you still manage to sell it at $17, it doesn't give me a lot of... Uh, uh, I mean, hope that the juice is fantastic. It's just very heavy, which this is made with blackstrap molasses. It should yeah. be like... Oh, I think it's, it's, it's spot on on the nose. Thing. Yeah. I like the smell of this. It's got a coffee note to it. It's got a kind of a coffee liqueur note. Um, it's very dry smelling. Big um, alcohol punch. Like it could... It's 40. I know, but I mean, it, it, it has a nose like a 120. Uh, really? Those I alcohol don't, notes are just like... Bang, I don't get that as much, know? I guess. I really think the molasses and... I mean, it goes better molasses the and, third or fourth time you go into it. It dissipates a little bit. Yeah, I think the molasses note really kind of is a predominant note there. It's really got a... The sweetness is buried into the dryness of it, but uh, it's there. I'm afraid it could be overly sweet on the tongue. But, I mean, there's nothing on the nose but molasses. Molasses mm -hmm. and booze, yeah. Oh, wild. Okay. It's not what I expected. I wish I hated that more. I wish I, I had every intention of, of tossing my glass at the camera and pulling, uh, pouring myself a glass of rolling fork. Well, you're well, just a shitty person. <laughs> but but man. Why, why do you wish you hate it more? I because it's cheap. I get. I well. I just. I'm. Re, I'm such a fan of what Rolling Fork does with their high end rums. As you should be. Uh, Everybody but like, should. They're be. very expensive too. I mean, they're hundred dollars a bottle plus, pretty much. All right. But the uh, guy that's got seventeen dollars and is buying this, what do we think about it for them? I. I mean, the thing is, is that I don't hate it. I think so. Re remember, you used to be really big on Kraken Dark. I actually had a glass of it a while ago and found it enjoyable. To me, this is what I always wanted that to be. 
So right. here's what I'm thinking. You know, we said kind of the coffee and molasses nose. Yeah. Um, that translates. Mm-hmm. It is not sweet at all. Or not sweet in the syrupy way sweet. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it's sweet it's in a natural way. Massive vanilla notes. and Yeah. It still has, again, what I'm calling coffee is realistically probably the, the molasses. Kind of. Um, incredibly dry. My tongue feels like I just drank an IPA. It lingers. Stays with you. Now, it's an intense flavor. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think this is why it gets oh, used as a mixer so much. If you don't like molasses, you're going to hate this. Yeah. But <laughs> it's intense, and yeah. it really hangs on. And I think I mean, that's why they put it in mixed drinks so much. I kind of enjoy this. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing to like cheap whiskey or cheap, well, cheap so, drinks. But here, so here's, here's the, the conundrum for me, is that all I do with whiskey... All I do in tequila is search for a bottle that's twenty dollars that is legitimately good. I kind of like this, and I I don't know why I'm so hesitant. Baku, uh, twelve year old rum, also a good very, but very hot and sweet. Also a very cheap rum yep. that I love and rave over. I think I think what's getting me with this, I think it's just that this is a large brand that has been a well rum like a cheap rum in a lot of bars over the years and i've got a shitty opinion of it and i think it is absolutely tainting my now this is did we say it was the what estate, estate diamond this is distiller's collection Crisan estate diamond black strap rum so i don't think this is your typical bottle Crisan. no no but that being said now I would have to want this. I'm gonna. I want to say. Oh. I want to preface this by just saying. Absolutely. This is a pretty unique flavor. This is something you pretty much are gonna. Yeah. You need to dial into and go. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, this tastes nothing like uh, Baku. This tastes nothing like yeah. Rolling Fork. Um, tastes nothing like regular whiskey. No, this is a molasses liquor. It, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it is. Yeah. Which but I, it is forty like percent, as we said before. Um, yeah, not liqueur, liquor, um, for sure. I like molasses, so yeah, kind of. I'm kind of in for it. Uh, <laughs> what? what the second? tasting notes. You know how usually they do put tasting notes on stuff, and it is um, made up. Just the most wildest shit in the world. You're trying to think of, and then we get on here and make tasting notes of it, and it's like tastes kind of heavy, real full, a little bit of rust. Their tasting notes are heavy, dark aroma. I don't know how that tells you anything. Slight sweetness with notes of caramel. I mean, incense. God. I, I mean, I actually like them more for that. I they, didn't, they didn't go deep. Deviant- <laughs> There's a number beside it called 1760, and I don't know if that is like a numb style number. 1760 is when uh, Curzan started distilling. Oh. Yes. Really? Why? I read, I read something online. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. Right. We're having a show. All right. I know we shit. said it was from uh, Virgin Islands in uh, St. Croix. Croix. Yeah. I actually, Colby and I talked about going to St. Croix here a while back. I would do that if I was down there. I bet I would probably be pretty happy with this. This is shockingly pretty fucking good. I, when you pulled it out, I thought... Ugh, like that's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, this was just an episode because we needed one more to round out the, the uh, recording session, and, and, and we grabbed it. And, and to clarify it. again, this is not nuanced. This is not like, don't mistake this for like a bottle of Rolling Fork rum. Like this is, this is 17 different, bucks. different category. But for what it's doing, pretty damn delicious, I gotta say. Like, I could make a, oh my god, I wanna make a. Like a white Russian situation. I just, that's what I was yeah. sort of thinking. White yeah. Russian's the right one. Oh, my God. Because this one's dry enough that the white Russian wouldn't be so over it, which yeah. is what I dislike about white Russians is they so get sweet. so sweet. Yeah. And I don't like sweet. So. This could do it, which I guess there's probably another name for it if you use rum instead of vodka, but um, regardless, mm-hmm. put some cream in it. Fucking delicious. Uh, all right. You got anything else to say about this uh, random bottle that that uh, is pretty tasty? Shocked. Yeah. I didn't expect to love it. Didn't 
think I would absolutely hate it, but I I, I, still, I didn't expect to think it was going to be really good, honestly. Yeah, this is still not like, I'm not going to like sing praises to the heavens over this, but I uh, this is it's well. still a mixer for me, or at least an ice cube. This is well. But as a person who likes um, crack and dark, this, this is infinitely sweeter. Yeah, yeah. Still fairly balanced for as shitty as it I is. I go for this. It's yeah, pretty good. All day. For um, ice. Well above my expectations, for sure. Yep. Uh, if you see it out, hey, go grab yourself a bottle. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It, it's it's a it's a flavor. It if is you a temper your expectations, thing. you will never be disappointed. Also fair. Until next time. Whether it be the rum that you're trying. On the food you're eating. Clothes you're wearing. Or the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new.